Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nora to explain here, bringing you guys uh, another discussion for boards on Nora to Next Generations. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a major elephant in the room following the events of Boruto to Chapter 73, which is in the moment when Kawaki sensed Momoshiki's presence, everything has changed moving forward based off of what I've seen in the comment section. A lot of you guys think that this is a moment where when Momoshiki manifested out of Boruto and in the presence of Kawaki, it is setting the stage for another potential Boruto versus Kawaki fight to take place, whether that be physical or whether that be verbal. And while I don't think that we're going to see it right away. I do think there is some merit to this conversation needing to happen right here. Will Kawaki turn on Boruto because of Momoshiki? It's not the craziest question because we've seen wilder things happen in the manga. Let's look at what we do know for certain. Momoshiki popping out right behind Boruto is going to lead to some type of conflict occurring. As of the last chapter, it seems as if Boruto doesn't know that Momoshiki was standing right beside him. In the past, when this happened before Boruto's body felt the sensation and he knew immediately what had happened but in this last chapter Boruto is unaware of what just occurred for someone like Kawaki who has already shown he's willing to kill Boruto that's gonna be a red flag for Kawaki and given all the foreshadowing that we've had over the last 18 months we need to really have this conversation so essentially it's a sign of a change being undergone inside of Boruto's body one that Boruto isn't aware of and one that Kawaki is likely going to take things a lot more serious about and i think this has the opportunity to pay off all of that setup that we had over the last 18 months establishing kawaki feeling like a bit of an outsider out of all the people in konoha with the exception of amato he's the one person who knows the most about karma and he's the only person who knows what it's like to have karma on your body for years feeling the slow changes that it's making to your body and how unpredictable the nature of karma itself is shikamaru and the others they understand it's a weapon that can harm them kawaki on the other hand understands that karma it isn't just a weapon it is a poison that takes its time killing the person that it infects and once it's done the very soul of the person ceases to exist for kawaki seeing firsthand that Momoshiki is appearing outside of Boruto without Boruto's knowledge. It has a lot of room for potential conflict heading into the next two chapters and building on Kawaki's outsider insecurity and here's why. It's one thing to tell Kawaki, hey, you gotta live with Ada, a woman who can enslave the entire ninja world if she wanted to and you have to make sure that you keep her infatuation with you so high that she doesn't think about anything except for one to try to show the boy whose name literally means dry when you translate it what it means to be wet it's another thing to have this man on operation horny while also having bored so there who still has a problem that momoshiki can hijack his consciousness under the right circumstances and even worse momoshiki is now manifesting outside of boruto's body without Boruto being aware of it. That's going to be enough of an issue that it's going to cause room for conflict once Boruto admits that he didn't know Momoshiki was right there in the room with him. For Kawaki, taking the mission to appease Ada is something that we know he would do because it relates to protecting Naruto. Ada could be viewed by Kawaki as a threat to Naruto and we know when it comes to Naruto, there isn't a line that Kawaki won't cross. If he's willing to kill Naruto's own son to protect Naruto, what do you think he'd do to someone like Ada if it ever came down to it? On the other hand, this new development with Boruto potentially opens up the door for Kawaki to turn on Boruto for the same reason. Whether it be suggesting something drastic be done to Boruto or he simply keeps an eye on Boruto, the room for conflict comes in a few ways. Kawaki, for as much as he's done to assimilate into Konoha and the Uzumaki family since arriving, he's still an outsider. Boruto has had years of developing those bonds with the people around him. Boruto is going to have a longer leash. Those people are going to want to give him more of the benefit of the doubt merely because of that bond and want to give Boruto every chance that's needed. Kawaki, by even suggesting something or acting in a way that goes against the groupthink mentality, is going to put him at odds with those people, which brings us to Ada, a woman who can see everything, she can hear everything whenever she chooses to cut on her dojutsu. If she's trying to get closer to Kawaki and 
she's trying to drive a wedge between Kawaki and the others, that's her opportunity to do so. In order to gain more favor with Kawaki, is it crazy to think that she gives that information to Kawaki? He already knows that she can hear and she can see everything she chooses to. We've seen her be willing to share her powers with people in the past, namely Code, because it was a quick path to her securing the things that she wanted. With Code, sharing her powers was a way for her increasing her chances to get Kawaki. With Kawaki, this would be more of a long-term play, starting the process of separating him from the group because she knows about his insecurity when it comes to being an outsider. When someone is isolated, they're easier to control, manipulate, and Ada's gonna take advantage of that. The groundwork has already been set if you go back to the earlier chapters in the manga and look at them very closely. Due to all the setup that we've had over the last 18 months and the pacing slowing down and boards are being monthly, it can be easy to overlook things that have been placed in the oven that are being cooked that are now starting to come out the oven. So if we go back in time 15 months ago to Borto chapter, to around Borto chapter 59, there was a scene where it gets revealed that when it comes to Konoha, Kawaki is the subject of a lot of rumors and some villagers have gotten dangerously close to figuring out the truth about Kawaki. We saw villagers whispering around Kawaki, they're staring at him and when Shikadai starts speaking to him, even Shikadai notices the changes in Kawaki's expression when he learns the truth about what's happening behind his back. For a boy who was held prisoner by Jigen for most of his childhood, in a way he's replaced being in a small cage for being in a larger cage that's something like you see at the zoo where there's a confined space, but it's more of an open habitat, which is something that Jigen told him. In Konoha, he's got villagers watching him. He's got Jonin and Ambu keeping surveillance on him. And now, with this mission with Ada, he's likely gonna come to the same conclusion that Sasuke did, which is that their surveillance mission is doubling for keeping tabs on Kawaki as well, because he's too big of a threat to allow the roam unchecked. This mission could have the side effect of continuing to build on what we saw in Boruto chapter 60, where again, Kawaki notices people staring at him and openly whispering. He openly considered himself an outsider when he spoke to Naruto, conceding that Jigen was right. If Kawaki makes a logical suggestion about Boruto needing to be disposed of, especially if Boruto reveals what Momoshiki told him about the future, where Boruto would give up control willingly to Momoshiki, or even ends up attacking Boruto because Momoshiki takes control, it adds that feeling of outsider. It makes the boy who has a good intention feel like an outsider all over again, because he's thinking with logic, whereas everyone else is thinking with emotion, and that's gonna be something that Ada might be able to take advantage of in the future, which is gonna be huge. I think there's a strong possibility we start seeing some changes occur to the story moving forward because slowly over the last 18 months, we've seen things set up for the immediate aftermath of Ishiki's death began to start getting paid off over time, and I think this has the potential to be one of them. Though I do believe this is gonna be a slow burn though. That being said, if Kawaki does suggest killing Boruto or ends up attacking Boruto, is his logic justified? And do you think the time is now to pay out Kawaki's insecurity being an outsider? How long do you think those ingredients that are Kawaki's insecurities need to stay in the oven before they come out? While you think that over, click here to watch my Chainsaw Man chapter review and click here to watch this throwback video from Naruto Explained.